Ah, far out, dude. Yes, it's working. It's like as long as my arm nearly. Just a couple. Good bloody morning to ya. Come on. Let's go put some crazy to the fire. Ow! What's going on, doggies? Welcome back to another video. Okay, I'm running. Um, I'll tell you guys what's going on in two seconds. There's a school of fish right there. <laughs> Are you actually kidding? I've literally been here for like three seconds and check this out. This is a, oi, this is a monster sand whiting. That thing is an absolute donkey. It's about 30 centimeters, probably more than 30 centimeters long. So that's the second one I've caught. Big juicy sand whiting. We're gonna turn these into a massive fish tonight. These are also beautiful eating. We're also, hold on, let me put this thing in the esky and I'll um, tell you guys what's gonna happen in this episode. Okay, we have two whiting. This is all the bait that I've got for the night. One big juicy one there. And then this fella here, that is a stonker of a whiting. So we've got two whiting for bait tonight. That should just get us through. If there's no sharks around, that's gonna be all good. Right, oh, we had a couple more flicks out there and it was um, yeah, no good. That wind has obviously set in. It's not even forecast to be windy today, but it's definitely set in. So it's gonna make for an interesting night's camping, but um, I suppose this is a pretty good video to show you guys like what I do when I'm not filming because I'm not even supposed to be filming today. Like this is what I do every day. I just come out here and I enjoy myself. You know, I was supposed to be surfing today, but it was shit. So this is gonna be a completely random video, but it's just a sort of like a day in the life, I suppose. We're gonna go turn those little whiting into some big dirty fish and um, if we can get it done, it's gonna be a bloody beautiful feeling. <laughs> Here we go, we're dancing. All right, we've got about an hour and a half drive ahead of us and um, we'll be on location. So sit back, stay tuned. I'll see you guys very bloody soon. Oh, Come on, get in there. All right, I never ever use burly when I go fishing for Mulloway. But tonight, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do it to enhance the chances. There's a lot of reef at the back there, so we might bring in like snapper. Who knows? I have no idea what this place fish is like, but we're gonna give it a red hot crack tonight. I've just got a sock, like a brand. This is like a brand new work sock, man. I'm gonna fill it up with burley, tie a string on it, and then tie it. Ah! And then tie it to that stake I just stuck in the bottom of the in the sand down there. This should bring in a couple of fish, probably a couple of sharks as well, but you gotta take the good with the bad, you know? Oh yeah, look at this. Big burly sock. It's like Christmas. Just like that, we have a little burly bag sitting here, just on the edge of the shoreline here. It's when the waves come up, it slowly disperses the smell inside the sock and um, we're going to have an all night burley trail. So this thing will just stay here. That's going to let this smell out into the ocean. And if there's fish way around there, that's going to attract them into where my baits are going to be sitting just here and here. So let's see how this works. I never really fished like this ever, but I had it in the car, so we might as well give it a red hot crack. Look at that, it's going to work real good. Oh yeah. Well, in the meantime, while I'm waiting for that sun to set and that burly to disperse out, bring all the big fish into me. We'll um, climb up over these sand dunes here. We'll go for a uh, cheeky little bit of a firewood scavenge because there's a bit of firewood up here. Oh wow, have a look at that. That somebody has used this place as the toilet. Lovely, mate. Thanks, thanks for burying that. But look at that, they did have, so someone's just had a squat there Best views in the world. Ooh, have a go at this. Wonder what that was. This is like rib, rib bones. Look at that, man. That's like a kangaroo rib bone or something. It's got to be a kangaroo, eh? Hold up. On a closer inspection, just next to those other bones, there's other bones here. And this is like, that's like sheep's wool. Look at that, that's sheep's wool. 
is probably just about enough wool here. If you were stuck out here, you could probably make a little beanie out of that. <laughs> Let's go. Ah. Right. That is going to be more than enough firewood to get us started. So we've still actually got a little bit of light left. I could have kept driving south of here and probably gone to that number one spot. But anyway, we're here. We've started. One of those bits of wood is full of ants, so I have ants all over me. But it's all right. Um, what are we going to do now? I could probably try to catch another couple of fish on the noodle rod, you know. That's not a bad idea. Then we can actually have dinner and have bait because those two, two um, whiting, they're not really going to be enough bait if there's sharks here. If there's sharks here, the bait goes like that. Bang, bang, bang. So um, maybe we'll get the noodle rod out. We've got enough time. That could be fun. Wow. See that bird, man? <laughs> this drawer contains this. This is all I want. Is that bag of flour right there. All right, so what I want to do, I want to make something called a damper. If you don't know what damper is, it is the most simple, basic sort of meal you can make out in the bush. If you're in a survival situation or something like that, this is where damper would come in so handy if you had water on hand. So basically all it is, it's flour, water, you mix it together. That is the simple, basic bush damper and um, you can make, it's like bread, essentially it's bread in the bush, but um, you can just go hand over fist with it and you can literally do whatever you want. Like you can put sultanas, banana, we put Kit Kat in them, we put Mars bars, we put Snickers in them. So it's like a gooey chocolate melty middle, it's pretty good. But um, I'm just gonna go through my drawers here, see what we've got and we'll make a little bit of a damper. I am feeling like a pretty basic damper for dinner tonight. So I am just gonna pretty much use the flour, salt, flour, salt, water, See what we got in here. Welcome to the field day kitchen. <laughs> this is actually, I haven't had cooked the damper for like two or three years. So I'm actually bloody excited about this. Super simple. We've got our flat, this is all I'm doing with mine. It's just flour. We've got water here. Here I have garlic and salt herb. And here I have lemon pepper seasoning. So I'm just going to smash them in there as well. We're gonna, I'm going to mix it up in here. You can obviously mix up a damper anywhere you want. You can literally like slap it on the table here, just knead it all together. But if you put it in here, it becomes a big sticky bloody mess. So better off doing it in a little billy like this. Well, that's what I prefer anyway. I suppose the best thing about this, there is no bloody rules. You can just do what you want, how you like it, when you want. So it's pretty bloody good. You put about, I don't know, let's just say I'm going to put that much flour. Now I'm going to add me lemon pepper in there. Don't be scared. Garlic salt. You can, you can use milk. You can use, um, you can put eggs in here. You can do anything you want. But this is like a real traditional bush damper. It's just pretty much self-raising flour and water. And I'm just chucking in a couple of herbs just to be that tiny little bit fancy. So don't put too much water in at a time. You just put a little bit of water in there. Mix it up until you get that consistency. <laughs> How good is this? I literally come down here this morning for a surf and now we're chasing monster fish and cooking damper on the beach. It doesn't, it just doesn't get any better than this really. Honestly. So this is at a pretty good consistency. Maybe it's you just, you don't want it too sticky, but you still want to have that like mushiness about it. Kind of a Play-Doh effect, if you will. But you don't want to have it too bloody, too mushy, but you don't want to have it too hard. You know, you want it like a nice little bread ball, something like this. Something like that, that's pretty good. All right, so what I'm doing here, I'm just going to get a little bit of flour, put it on top of this table, cover myself in it. Oh, you're there, why not? And you just want to cover it in a little bit of flour. This will stop it from sticking to the pan. You can also like knead it while you're here. You can do the old... Look at this, mate. 
But that is pretty much how you want it looking. It actually smells incredibly bloody good. But this is kind of what you want to deal with, something like that. That is the beautiful little damper bowl right there. So we're just going to let that sit now. You know what, actually? I might make two of these, eh? Chocolate. I had no idea that was in the car. And um, we're going to put it inside this damper. So we've got one sweet and one not sweet. This is going to be bloody good. So we're just going to snap off little pieces of this chocolate. Mucky's probably watching this right now going, that's where my chocolate went. <laughs> there is one more way that you can cook a damper if you're really stuck in the bush. Like I'm talking, you're proper stuck. You've got no, you've got nowhere to, um, you've got no pots, you've got no pans, you've got nothing. What you can actually do, and it work, it does work quite well. I've done it. We can do it right now if you want. We can make a little baby one. You grab the damper exactly just like that, purely like that. That goes straight onto the hot coal, not red coals, the black coals. You just drop that on black coals, cover it in coals, and you're gonna get like a black charcoal layer on top, which is gonna protect the inside. It's gonna cook beautifully, but you'll get a perfect inside cooked bread, obviously if you take it off at the right time, but you, can, you don't need to have a camp oven to be able to cook it. There's the um, one without chocolate. There's the one with chocolate. I kind of made a mistake and I put garlic herb and I put the um, lemon pepper in with the chocolate, but hey, there's no rules out here. There we go. I let them sit there for about 20 minutes, 30 minutes. They're gonna rise and go beautiful. Always dust the inside of your camp oven with a little bit of flour so it doesn't stick. And um, let's get this bloody fire going. That's going to go for sure. One little baby bit of bloody tumbleweed at the bottom and that should start this whole entire fire. Little spiky bit of tumbleweed. It's like hay, it's bone dry. Look at that mate. Okay, let's measure this whiting. How big do you reckon this beautiful thing is? It's pretty bloody big. Right, tape measure on the nose. Coming down to the tail end, the business end, what do we got? 340. That is 340. That is a big whiting, man. That's 34 centimeters long and we're gonna use it for bait. That is an incredible bit of dinner right there. Anyway, that could catch us an absolute monster of a fish tonight. So it's going on for bait. All right, here we go, look at this. We have a beautifully, so what I've done, I've actually cut that fillet in half again. So we've got these nice little strip baits. It actually gives me eight pieces of bait out of two fish. So that should get me through the night if I fish strip baits like that. It's quite a big bit of bait, it's as big as my hand. So big bait, big fish. Showed you the rig before. All right, let's bomb this thing. You don't even have to cast far, maybe six meters, seven meters off the back of this little wave here. That's all we need. All right, see ya! Push. All right, all we do now is sit back, enjoy this beautiful bloody sunset, and um, watch that rod like a bloody hawk. Absolutely wonderful. You know what I don't have? I don't have a cold beer to watch the sunset because I'm not prepared, am I? That's all right, we can um, get through. It is an absolute cracker of an afternoon, look at this. This is what it's all about right here, right now. Nothing beats this moment. Like, it's the best thing ever. Alone in the bush. Being alone in the bush is the best feeling. I don't know why I love it so much, but it is the best feeling in the world. It's like the ultimate freedom in my opinion. Look at this. No one around. We got a fire. We got damper. We got the troopy. Living. Here she is. Look at that. We're gonna chuck that straight on the fire right now. Cannot bloody wait for it. We're just gonna chuck that as it is. Straight there. You don't actually put it on the fire. What we're gonna do, we're gonna transfer the coals onto the lid of this and it'll act like an oven. It'll cook it through. So it's pretty much as simple as grabbing the hot coals from in here. Now you don't wanna to put too many of, see how red those coals are? 
that's next level hot. So you don't want to put too many on there at the start. Just a couple. That's probably enough to start off, you know. If you load it up with coals, it's going to be an intense heat all the way through to the top of the bread. It's obviously not going to cook the bottom and the middle. So you just slowly, slowly add your coals on. That's actually enough for now. That's going to pump out a heap of heat. Oi, 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 we've got a fish on. Yes, that's a fish. That's a fish, that's a fish. All right, we've got a fish on. Come on, baby, what are you? So only small. Feels like a bit of a shark, like a weird shark. It's not fighting like a fish. Where are you? Yeah, I bloody knew it. You can feel the, feel the way they fight. Ah! Get off, I don't want you. Well, that's definitely not what I wanted to catch. So this is called a Wobbegong shark. We're gonna get him back as soon as possible, obviously, but um, yeah, it's a beautiful little shark. These things can actually swing around and bite their tail. So if you're ever gonna catch one of these sharks, don't grab it by its tail because you can see, look at that, he's actually biting his tail right now. He's trying to defend himself. So we'll get these hooks out, we'll get him back as soon as possible. Come on, buddy. Let's go this way. Ready? Oi, don't even try to bite me, mate. Watch this. He's going <laughs> to... Go now. See ya. There he goes. Gone. Well, that is definitely not the fish that we're coming to catch right now. So, um, I'll bait up. We'll get it out again. Hopefully, we don't catch any more of those bloody things because they're just wasting our bait. So, uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, that's the last one for the night. I'll bait up again and... Um, damper it's cooking right now and it looks bloody good look at this little cheeky damper in the background there <laughs> how good man whoop whoop there we go that's a fish that was a good little knock just then we just had a good bite here he goes here he yeah oh that's a fish that is definitely a fish oh no it's sticking to the bottom well there's another one please do not come back I don't want you, and you're wasting my bait. All right, mate, ready, set, go. Be free. Go, 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 go. Yes, look at him. Off he goes. All right, it is the moment of truth. Have we cooked or have we proper cooked the um, damper inside this camp oven? I've been regulating the heat. I've been putting coals on, taking coals off. I've been slowly spinning it around like this. So each side of the um, camp oven gets an even bit of heat. And um, are you ready for this? Check this out. <laughs> Hold on a second, you need to look in there. Have a look at this. Do not bloody drop it. That is cooked to absolute bloody perfection. Oh, smell it. There we go, that is perfectly cooked. All right, here she is. This camp oven is extremely hot still, but the bread should just come out like this. Oh, look at this. Have a go at that. Steaming hot, beautiful damper. Hold on, let me get this off the table before I melt a hole in it. Wait. Have a look at this. Steaming hot, perfectly cooked damper. Look at the top of them, they're both crunchy. That's epic. So this one is the chocolate one, and this one is just the standard bush damper. No egg, no milk, it's just water, a flour, and two different seasonings. So, let's have a look at this one first. <laughs> that is cooked to absolute bloody perfection right now. A little bit, if I had a little bit, of, little bit of butter on this, that would taste incredible, but it's pretty hot right now. Got to keep an eye on that rod. There you go. A little bit of bush damper. Oh. Look at it. So that first bit of damper I just ate then, absolutely beautiful. With those spices, it just gives it that little bit of saltiness. It gives it that little bit of kick. But like, if you were literally stuck in the bush, you don't need to refrigerate this. Look how much food's right there. That is a filling meal. Like, this will last you a couple of days. 
if you ration it out, you don't need to put it in a fridge, you can literally just stick it in the back of your car and it's all good. But this is the chocolate one. So let's have a look inside here. Oh, you've got to be kidding. Look at that melted chocolate. This is, this is going to be good. I might have to go make a little bit of a coffee and um, enjoy this with a coffee because that looks really bloody good. Look at that chocolate, man. All right, let's see if I'm just going to bite a bit of the chocolate. Where are you? Yeah. Oh, wow. That is amazing. That's literally savory and dessert right there. Bang, done. There we go. All right, when I said I had no food in the car, that was an absolute lie. I've just found honey and peanut butter in the car. It's an empty jar of peanut butter, but I'm scratching the absolute bones out of it. This beautiful ginger honey, you put that onto this bloody damper we just made, game changer. It is absolutely bloody beautiful. So what I'm gonna do, I've got my little billy down there on the fire. I'm making a coffee. I'm gonna sit here and enjoy this. And um, if we get a massive fish, camera's on. And if not, I'll see you guys in the morning and we'll, um, I don't know what we'll do, but this is a hell night so far. Hopefully we can end it with one big dirty silver mulloway. That's gonna be so good. But if not, I've had an absolute ripper time so far. See you guys in the morning or when we get a fish. Ow! It is the morning right now. Last night we got absolutely skunked. Um, I fished till about 2.30 in the morning and we didn't get too many fish. We actually, we actually didn't get any fish at all. A little bit of breakfast. We've got damper, chocolate damper for breakfast. Oh, that water's boiling. Cheeky little bit of dog and gun coffee. Right, turn that off. Well, if this isn't the best place to have a bloody coffee, a little bit of damper made last night, I honestly don't know what is. This beats the absolute hell out of any kind of cafe, any little dome, any Starbucks. This is living right now. We've got a coffee, we've got that freshly made damper right here. We've got the chocolate version because last night I smashed that other one. Oh no! See, that's the good thing about damper. It doesn't matter if you bloody drop it in the sand. So, um, yeah, this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna smash this coffee, smash this beautiful little chocolate damper. Look at that big chunk of chocolate right there. Mmm. And we're gonna go and see if we can get some of these whiting again. Because they are big, they're beautiful eating, and the two that we had from last night, we've used them for bait. So, smash the coffee, smash this bit of damper, enjoy this absolute freedom of a view and then we're gonna boost, boost up the coast there. Ah, so good. Look at this, mate. Wow, 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 wow. This is soft. Come on. Oh, shit. Woo -hoo. This is so soft. That bit of sand that we just drove through before was a make or break situation. And um, you don't want to fall down to that ledge on the side there. You do not want to be going down there right now. But we're all right, we got through it. I'm yet to be stuck in the troopy. This thing has not been bogged once. And I've taken it pretty far off road. So it's a very reliable truck right now. Have a look at the day. Primo. Righto, big rig, let's go. Take us to the whiting heaven hole. We're back at the whiting hole. What we're going to do now is try to get a couple of them big, juicy, filthy, disgustingly good looking mullet, whiting should I say, out of this hole because um, they're big fish man for a whiting. They're good sized whiting. So let's go and have a flick. Ha <laughs> ha, look This is literally, I'm not even joking right now, probably about the fifth or sixth cast. Oh, they're so slippery. Anyway, we got one there. Beautiful little whiting. Not as big as the one yesterday. That's probably about, ah! It's so slippery, eh? That's probably just under 30 centimeters. Slippery little sausage, but there's one. If there's one, there's gonna be more. We're gonna have one hell of a lunch. That's for sure. 
Well, we ended up getting two whiting in about, I don't know, I've been here for about half an hour. We've got two whiting, so one medium sized one and one is a stonker again. That thing is an absolute stonker. There's the other one we got. So they're two not bad sized whiting for lunch, but what I'm gonna do now, chuck on a little bit of dive gear. Got a couple of friendly dogs here, but what I'm gonna do, chuck on some dive gear and um, out the back here, Sort of where that wave's breaking out there, there's a nice little reef. So I'm just gonna swim all the way out there, see possibly if we can get a crayfish for lunch. Tell you what, it's been a hot minute since I've eaten a crayfish, so I'm gonna slide into this wetsuit if I still fit in it, and um, we'll go and have a little bit of a play out there, see if we can get a crayfish. Probably won't be any size ones, but we'll just go and have a sniff around. One or two for lunch, that's all I want. Righto, let's go put some crayfish on the fire. Ow! So they've got to be 76 millimeters from the back of the shell to the inside there. And this one is, that's 85. I don't even know if you guys can see that, but that's 85. That's the one that I know that's a keeper. This one here as well. That one, definitely a keeper. He is 86. So that's 86. This one, ah! This one is not going to be a keeper now that I'm actually looking at it on land. This little fella is 72. All right, so that's 72. We've got to take him back. And this one is, what's that? 70, 74. So close. All right, so there we go. We're going to let two of these little crayfish go. I would have caught about, I don't know, I'm going to guess about 12 to 15 crays when I was out there but they're just, you can see how small they are underwater and it's pretty hard to determine the size when you're underwater. So bring them in, check them. If they're too small, chuck them back. I think you're actually supposed to check them out there. You're not meant to bring the small ones in, but I didn't have a gauge, so what else can I do? All right, let's let this little buddy go. See you, buddy, have a good one. See you in a couple of weeks when you're a little bit bigger. Let's get that next one. Wait, we better not be throwing the wrong ones out. Yeah, that one, those two are. Definitely this one. So we'll let this one go as well. See you later, little caca. Oh, how good is the smell of a brand new bloody t-shirt? This is one of the shirts that's available right now on the online shop. It's got some, some logo on the back. It is the local pride t-shirt. We've also got a noodle rod t-shirt that's just dropped on the online shop. And we also have the kids range. So if you guys want to grab your kids a shirt, they are flying out of the door like bloody popcorn at the cinemas. So you better jump in quick, grab one of those kids shirts before they sell out. But thank you for all the support. The shirts are there if you guys want one and um, they're bloody good shirts.
Anyway, look at this for lunch. Our lunch is going to be incredible. I'm gonna punch up the coast. I'm gonna start a fire. We've got two beautiful, fresh, juicy crayfish for lunch. We've got two mammoth sand whiting to eat for lunch. That is going to be a seafood bonanza. So I'm gonna punch up the coast here, start a fire, sit back, enjoy this beautiful bluebird day, and um, that is it for me. I'll see you guys in the next video. Probably I'll see you guys in the next video in my boat. And we're gonna be doing a little mission, maybe fishing out in the sea. Who knows what we're gonna be doing, but it's gonna be a bloody good time. So if you those guys wanna grab those t-shirts or your kid shirts, make sure you smash this button here. Subscribe here if you haven't already, and um, I will see you guys very soon in the next video on the next adventure. Much love. See you later, damper heads. Ow! <laughs> Did I just actually call you guys damper heads? <laughs> Sorry.